Well, nice to see the Max Track Lot Doppler clear. Too bad it's not going to stay that way into the weekend. With all the temperature talk, you've got to also remember that we're going to start the weekend and then likely wrap the weekend up with showers and thunder showers. So plan accordingly. Our lowest chance for stormy weather is likely going to be Saturday. So uh, that may be uh, worth your consideration if you're planning on doing anything outside. For the time being, all the active weather clearly off to the north or to the west. This is all part of the same sprawling system that is uh, straight up blizzard across the upper Midwest. You can see that heavy snow wrapping around the lows. You get up towards Nebraska, South Dakota, Minneapolis. The snow is coming down at a pretty good clip and they've got ongoing blizzard warnings, ongoing winter storm warnings in that purplish color. Winter weather advisory, southern Wisconsin. And the warnings run all the way from Denver up to the upper peninsula of Michigan. So it covers a huge chunk of real estate there. The low is going to barrel northeast toward the U.S. Canadian border. We'll be up into Canada, likely by Saturday. But as it does so, we've got this frontal boundary. It was a stalled front, still is this morning. It's going to lift north as a warm front today, and we will take a shot at 80. And then following it up, you have a cold front that will get in here tomorrow morning. So there is a severe threat today. It's out west, though. Slight risk across Illinois, western uh, Indiana, and there's a marginal risk across western Kentucky. So, yeah, the shot at storms is there. Showers and isolated thunder showers tomorrow morning, but pretty much a, a very low end threat for severe weather over western Kentucky. And that's about it. That's the threat for tomorrow. It's not even here. So, future track shows partly sunny skies. Overnight clouds get a little thicker. It's going to get awfully windy, and then here come the showers. Could be an impact for the morning commute, gusty showers, some rumbles of thunder, and then that all heads east as you get into your Friday night. Look at how expansive the wind advisory is, though. It goes from Chicago back through Omaha and all the way down south past Memphis. Uh, there is a wind advisory that's now been expanded Thursday into the bluegrass for wind gusts up to, if not over 40 miles per hour. Could see some near 50 mile per hour gusts out in the western Kentucky. We're in the upper 50s, and that southerly wind is the main driver behind the big time warm up that we will see today. 50s and 60s to start out. And with this strong southerly flow at the surface, there's the low, the blizzard out west. Uh, we've got a really good shot at hitting, if not exceeding 80 degrees today. And then you can just see the cold front gradually sweeping east into early tomorrow morning. And as it does so, the wind will start to pick up, especially late this evening and into early tomorrow morning. So enjoy the warmth. It's going to get windy today. We'll have a sustained southerly wind, 10, 20 miles per hour. Highs hitting, if not exceeding 80, especially exceeding at south and west. Partly sunny and feeling like early June. Lexington's average high is 80 in early June. That's how incredibly warm it is. 60 for the overnight low. Tomorrow, showers and rumbles of thunder. A brief minimum of rain chances, and then unfortunately it does ramp back up again. More showers and storms, guys, late in the weekend.